going to try to find some some bigger crappie, show you guys how to live scope and identify larger crappie, separate them from the small crappie, and uh, just show you some tips and techniques of where I look for them when I go to a new lake. So what I'm seeing is we're along this riprap and you're seeing a lot of rocks, but there's an obvious fish separated from the bottom right there. And one of the things that I always look for is crappie are a stationary fish, so it's not moving, except for there he turned up. See him chasing my bait, there he's on. Really, uh, you know, that's a typical crappie here on Hudson. Pound and a quarter fish, a uh, big old fat female. Got some uh, eggs in her, so we're gonna go ahead and kick her loose today. We're not trying to keep any fish. So we've got a fish at uh, roughly 10 feet out. So I'm gonna drop my bait down. And I'm paying a lot of attention to the depth of my bait. I'm trying to keep it above him at all times. And I'm just bringing my bait across his body. We didn't get a response, so I'm gonna do that again. We're gonna center the boat up. Try to drop the bait so that it falls in front of him. Stop it above him. And basically I'm gonna bring this right across his nose. So these fish are not wanting to bite a lot today. But again, there you see he's indexed up. He's following, following, following. I'm lifting slightly there. I felt some weight. You know, another solid, that's probably close to a pound and a half fish. Again, big old fat female. Uh, we are in a pre-spawn condition. And uh, so we're gonna kick them back, let them swim today. So I'm running a 32nd ounce hair jig. Um, running a 32nd ounce hair jig below a quarter ounce weight. I've just got some uh, bobber stops that's pegging the weight in there. I'm running 12 pound line. Um, that's the reason you're seeing me just lift the fish in. We're not grabbing a net or anything because I'm running 12 pound line. And uh, with a 32nd ounce jig, it's a natural color. And I'm really a big fan of natural color. I'm basically just trying to mimic what a, a small minnow would look like in the water. So uh, silver and gray is the pattern there with the white head. Um, you'll see uh, most of my baits that are on my boat are that silver and gray pattern. Um, but again, really what we're doing is we're just dropping this bait in. And something to realize too is that as that bait is falling, that quarter ounce weight is heavier than the 30 seconds. So it's falling inversed. And as soon as we get near the fish, I'll stop the quarter ounce weight. The 30 second ounce jig will fall down there and then I'll present that jig to the to the bait or to the fish. So just remember that as we're kind of watching this on the screen, you're gonna see that uh, there's two individual signers going down. One of them being the, the lead weight and one of them being the jig. The lead weight will be going down first. I'll stop it and you'll see it invert. And then we'll present that the, the little 30 second ounce jig down to the fish. So we see two jigs falling. I just re inverted them and I'm trying to bring it down and he swam off. That looks like, yep, it's too crappie. And fish will. A little bit better fish there. Close to, that would be a pound and a half fish. a crappie but not a real big crappie he didn't miss it that time but a solid you know 12 inch 11 inch 12 inch fish pretty little guy
It is not a big one. It just looked like a big one. It's not bad. Another pound and a half type of fish, maybe pound and three eighths. Just mainly because of that big old fat belly, big old fat female. So these guys got tired of watching me catch these fish. I've been having a blast doing it. So we got Smokey and uh, he's gonna come up here and he's gonna try this out. I've made it look pretty easy. So we'll see if it really is. Another one coming in. I really shouldn't even fish for this one. It's too little, but he's just sitting there. You make this look real easy. <laughs> It usually takes me about two hours to get the, the guys on the first fish. Bring your tip to the left, right about there. Oh, that one chasing it. Now you got him. Lift. You didn't even know you had a bite. He ain't nothing. He's about this long, but he wasn't supposed to bite. see him here. We can get him off there. You can do it. I'll find you a better fish. That's embarrassing. I don't even usually let my clients catch that kind of stuff. <laughs> Look at that. Slowly, slowly, even slower. There. You can just Oh. Swing him in. There you go. Swing him in. Look at that. So does that beat your personal best? Yeah, by a long shot. By a long shot. That's a good fish. So that fish weighed 1.41 pounds. Personal best? Personal best, yep. Good job. Well, let's get a picture, is that okay? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Lost your day yard. Okay, lift up slowly. Lift up, lift up. Keep going up. Got him. <laughs> I've seen the pole. Uh-oh. I think he got a big one. Flip him in. <laughs> Heavy, ain't he? I don't know if he was as big as we wanted, but that's a good fish anyway. 158. Let's see if we shrinking on us. 154. Losing water weight. <laughs> Dripping off. Irregardless, it's a solid pound and a half fish. Yeah. Good job. So, you know, I come out here to shoot some photos for Outdoor Oklahoma, and uh, the next thing you know, I'm in front of the camera catching some crappie. Big crappie to me. So, got my PR, and I couldn't ask for a better day. So, I'm ready to come out and maybe I'll quit my job and do this professionally, I don't know. <laughs> All right, I think I finally caught a big one here. Another big old fat female. And you know, the, the technology that we have today just uh, allows us to do this. It, uh, just picking off single fish. We're, we're literally in 20 foot of water out here catching fish that are suspended and roaming. Um, the, and it's all about that forward looking sonar, whether it be live scope or Lorentz live sight. And I know Hummingbird's getting ready to come out with it. Um, takes a lot of hours. Uh, you know, I've got 3,000 hours of staring at this screen, but right there's what, what makes it worthwhile.